Okay, I'm just gonna drink water. <laughs> yeah, go lang, go lang. Ako rin. <laughs> Good job. I like the stories. <clears throat> I've been through a lot, man. As in, I'm not even gonna <laughs> sugarcoat that shit. As in, <laughs> so many moments. When you asked me that, I was like, war flashbacks. Whoa. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure. Like, so many different experiences. So much good memories, and then followed by a lot of um, stressful ones as well. I'm sure about that. Yeah, yeah. All right, you ready? All right. From Sand Studios, and made possible by Wavecast Equipment, I'm Trey Mulia, and welcome to the White Stripe Podcast. All right, today I'm joined by music photographer and freelancer, Jeremy Kaisip, you can find him online on Instagram and wherever you find people and creatives. And I met him like years and years ago, right? And I haven't actually spoken to him in a while. So I'm kind of really excited for this conversation. Um, we're going to talk about just photography in general and we'll see where it goes from there. Jeremy, thanks for coming on. Hello. Thank you so much for having me. Um, grab the young. I was talking to you a while ago. The roster of people that have been on this podcast is <laughs> amazing. So I'm honored to be invited. <laughs> You're, it, it was interesting. Um, I was actually going through like a list of people who I wanted to invite on the show. And I remember like in my head, I was like, I want photography, right? I want photography, but not just any photography, but like something close to me. You know what I mean? Like I was kind of just like going through that. And then your name popped in my head. So I was kind of just like, yeah, I should get him. So I'm glad you're on. What are some of your ma- favorite memories of shooting music? One thing's for sure is, you know, um, the energy in, in mm. seeing everyone have that shared experience. Whether it's watching an intimate gig at Root, rest in peace. Uh, or rest in a peace. Uh, rest in peace, Root. Or a... Big concert, like uh, the big events like Carpus Live, the big concerts. Yeah, yeah. The, it, first and foremost is really the, the, the energy of people. Like it's, it's amazing. It's just amazing seeing people just sing along to the music, seeing yeah. them dance, enjoy, and forget their worries. That's one of my favorite things. Another is being able to work with the artists. That's, that's also one thing I treasure when I get to interact with artists off stage because yeah. you see a different side of them it's really watching them you know just interact with friends interact with fans and then see like just asking them about their process and how they make their music mm. so that's one of the things i really treasure a lot in yeah. terms of music photography what would you consider your biggest show let you my biggest document. show i've shot uh, would be carly ray jepson's concert back Ooh. in 2019 that, that was my like it was amazing. It was, I was, I'm speechless just remembering <laughs> it. What's your day like when you have to shoot Carly Rae Jepsen that evening? Oh, um, for example, like for prepping for a big show, it depends on my schedule most of the okay. time. But if, for example, if I have, a, you know, I have my day job, right. I have to deal with my day job first, <laughs> like, thinking about the concert. <laughs> and then thinking about just like, I just want to make it to 4 p.m. so that I can end the day and just shoot. And then... Yeah. It's really um, preparing for a big shoot, um, researching a lot, like watching different live sets of the mm. artist. So you know when the artist is going to do this, when the artist is going to interact with the crowd and okay. all that stuff. And then, of course, on the way to the concert, you listen to the songs. You, you just really find... Yeah, yeah. Um, you inter- it's kind of like internalizing everything. Right, right. So that when the artist's... Uh, perform or the musicians perform you're able to translate what you have in mind visually because it's yeah. it's you know f- photography is like a weird middle ground of translating something on my end visually but also sonically in a yeah, sense okay. like the experience of hearing yeah, the song, yeah, yeah. Of, of seeing the artist that's yeah that's how i plan out my days for uh, big shoots do you ever get nervous of course all what's the it, time. All, what's it like all the when you're time. Nervous? It's it's one it, of course you start overthinking like did I bring my <laughs> SD card? Uh, did I bring the right equipment? Yeah. Um full charge by yung battery ko. Yung mga ganun, <laughs> those little things but and then 
as the shoot happens, it's just really, you know, thriving off the energy. It's, it's you know, mm. take that sip of iced coffee, make sure you're always hydrated. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, it, it's it's one of those things. And I guess, um, mga ano lang din, yung moments lang talaga na, oh my God, I got this photo, but like, is it good enough already? Ah, yeah, yeah. Or something like that. So those those things just pile up. But, you know, it, at the end of the day, it's still having fun being yeah. able to shoot a concert like that. So, yun, yun, yun talaga yung, like, my journey has been, like, really slowly, it was a slow burn, mm. if I could describe it. Like, it was a slow burn getting hooked into the music, getting hooked into, like, what was happening. Yeah. And, you know, part of it as well is being a fanboy. Right. Like in my before yeah, even yeah, yeah. before I started shooting music, it's it's that being able to just enjoy the experience with an artist. That's one of the biggest factors with being a parang ang saya ng music nila eh. Pero like, when I see it translated on photos, that's when it kinda hmm, why can't I like try this? Why can't I like slowly okay. see where this goes? Yeah, yeah. That's so yeah, yeah, super. Yeah, go ahead. Yun talaga eh, as in the exposure of of different factors, like from coming from events, moving to live music, and then eventually um, getting to work with the artists. That's that's yeah. how I would describe my journey. I find that really interesting because I met you. I don't even know, remember where or when. It was just I so, yeah. I don't remember it's, it's, where it's we all, met. We just <laughs> met. It's, it's all blurry. All, we just met in a gig. <laughs> Like, yun na yun. Most likely, tayo sa gig. <laughs> when you go to like hundreds of gigs, you know what I mean? Like, it all just becomes a big yeah, yeah, blur. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when you meet someone, like, I don't remember when I met so many of these people that even like the people I get on the podcast, sometimes I'm just like, oh, where, where, yeah, yeah, yeah. where did we meet again? And then they're like, I don't remember. And I'm like, yeah, it's fine. And it's something that I really miss, you know what I mean? I miss the gig life. I miss going out. I miss all I miss stuff. socializing. <laughs> I miss <laughs> other people. <laughs> I miss like. I mean, right now the thought's pretty weird, but I miss like being in a space like meant for thirty people, and there's like fifty people inside. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, then, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah I kind of yeah. miss that feeling, and then just like scooting over from different people, and um, I imagine for you it's trying to get the right shot, and for me it's just like how do I get to, from point A to point B? Um, for you, can you like remember any photography horror stories? Ooh, um, a lot actually. It it comes with how uh you know the experience and all of that. But um, where do I begin? <laughs> I'm <not> kidding. <laughs> no, no. Um, one of the things I guess generally uh, one yeah. of the things that we we the the difficulties we encounter for that matter is one is getting a photo pass. That's mm. one of the hardest things we we kind of have to work for, okay. of course. And it depends if, for example, if I'm shooting under a media, uh, under media, so I have a pass under that media company. But if yeah. I'm shooting, for example, for myself, it's really hard sometimes na, like I'd go to a gig not knowing Lee, and then oh, I'd just bring okay. my camera. And like, yeah, th- those moments happen. And it's just, a stroke of luck to ask like the organizers or to ask someone to just really I just want to bring my camera I paid at the entrance and I want to yeah, shoot yeah. for free the, so those moments and then my times then of course na other photographers like kind of try to one up you or something like that uh-huh, so uh-huh. it's it personally it's not a competition it's just really we're all creatives. We're all doing yeah. our job as photographers. Like one, I guess one specific experience I could share was, uh, he was the official photographer and I was just media. All right. And then he would be the one. Uh, so of course I respect him. Like, he's the official photographer of the event, and right. I'm just shooting for my media company. Yeah. And then he would, um, what? Parang kaharangan niya. You know, he would block the 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 photo pit. Just okay. for him, and what? then I, I would notice that he would let other people pass through, and then he wouldn't let me pass through. Those what? little things, okay, and I'm like, yeah, dude, yeah. I'm, we're, we're doing the same job. Like right. you're getting paid, I'm getting paid for this. So why <laughs> why do you want to? You know, it's those yeah. things lang talaga. Na really, I don't know. Hindi naman sa nag it bothers me. It's sometimes like we're just really do, doing the same job. That's the yeah. bottom line. So yeah. I don't get 
why the competition is needed there. How do you feel when you see something like that? Where we're supposed to be helping each other out, but because of that feeling of competition, you're not given the same access as, my, let's say, another person. When you're there in the moment, how do you feel about that? In the moment, uh, it's really... You have to keep your emotions in check, that's for sure. Yeah. Um, and it's sort of trying to have a conversation with whoever the person is, then, like, I would personally try to approach the person okay. and ask. Because, you know, it doesn't hurt if you don't try. That's the yeah. thing. Na if, for example, hinaharangan ka ng bouncer or hinaharangan ka ng ibang tao, parang, if you can be nice enough to ask and be, hi, um, sorry, uh, tinatamaan mo, yung mga ganun lang. Right. Like, the, 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 just small talk them into saying na, Hi, I'm I'm also doing my job. Excuse me, you might be hitting me or something like that. Mm. But of course, it will depend on how that person will react. So if the person oh, reacted course, yeah. in a not expected way, and the you know, you just back off na lang. Like uh-huh. just do your own thing. Right. Like di naman sa iwasan mo yung tao, pero just really avoid um confrontations, especially uh-huh. when there are events happening. Because, you know, and dami na oh, nangyayari sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. in the space of an event. So it's yeah. hard enough to have another problem too. All right, I'm going to ask you more about photography after a quick break. This episode is brought to you by Wavecast Equipment Philippines. So when I started out podcasting, I only had an old USB mic and nothing else. No boom arm, no cables, nothing. You don't have to worry about that like I did because of Wavecast's new bundle system. They prepare starter bundles for you guys who want to start podcasting, and it's super easy. So there's a bundle with a condenser microphone and a boom arm that's as low as 2,800 pesos. But if you want to upgrade, they also have the 4,800 pesos or the 5,200 pesos. Or if you kind of want to go all into a mid-tier microphone, you can actually go check out the Rode Pod mic, also available on the Wavecast Equipment Philippines page. So go check it out, Wavecast Equipment PH on Facebook and at Wavecast PH on Instagram. That is W-A-V-E-C-A-S-T Philippines. All right, back to the episode. All right, we're back with Jeremy. And I want to ask you a question. This is a bit more like conceptual, right? But like in your opinion, okay. when do you know that photography isn't just a hobby anymore? That it's something that you wanted to pursue? Mm. I guess personally, yeah. it, was, it was initially hard for me to distinguish when. Honestly, um, because I I graduated from an engineering course, uh-huh. so it I was to- doing something totally different. Like I'm not going into corporate. I'm not right. doing like I'm not. I don't want to be confined into a typical office job at the time. And then I just kind of felt it when I guess I got uh, I got my first pay, as in literally the first paid shoot that I ever got. Right. Yeah. I was like. I think I can like do this more often. Uh-huh. Like not exactly in every gig you get paid, but it it was more of like I want to see where this goes and I want to yeah. document more. I want to work with music more because it's something very very close to me. I mean, music is a universal language, and mm. I guess for lack of being a musician i mean i have no idea what musicians do <laughs> when they get on stage and start playing and uh-huh, i'm just yeah, like yeah, yeah. i i know my basics but not it's not to a point na parang ah anong chord yung tinugtog niya doon okay, yeah, no yeah. I, I, wala akong alam doon eh it, it was really just being able to do- document things in a different perspective um aside from my own but seeing but seeing the crowd, seeing the people. So, naramdaman ko, yun, after my first paid talaga, as it, first paid shoot uh, yeah. na gig, doon ko naramdaman, parang, it's, it's still a hobby, yes, but it's also like, I feel like it's gonna go into a career moving forward. Right. When do you, did you just like, gradually get to that point? Where you're kind of just, or was it like, when you got that paycheck, you were like, alright, this is what I'm gonna do. Uh, it was gradual. It was right. really gradual. Cause 
of course, um, photography, or, you know, any starting out photographer, you really start out with, or any creative for that matter, right. but you really start out with nothing. Like, how are you going to get respected enough? Or, or how do people look up to you to that level to, to hire you to shoot? Or how do they see that your work will speak for itself? So, yeah. gradual din siya kasi, um, it was putting out my work as in I, you know, typical starting out photographer na Instagram, kinu curate yung Instagram, kinu yeah. curate Facebook, <laughs> tapos, yeah. diba, mga inviting people to like your page. So, then slowly, um, a little bit of online management and then just making sure that there is a consistent output of your work. That I think that's one of the most important things. Mm. Uh, consistency in terms of wanting to shoot, um, putting out output and really trying whatever you can when you are starting out in photography. So, gradual. Gradual talaga siya before it became like, okay, I think I'm gonna pursue this as a career yeah, moving yeah. forward. So if someone comes up, if someone comes up to you, let's say this person's um, fresh out of college, um, has some experience in photography, and then that person comes up to you and says, "What should I do? I want to like be good at this. I want to be paid for this." What would your words of words of advice be for that person? It's um, I guess one thing is again um, putting your work out there. Like, yeah. uh, yun naman yung one of the ba, one of the reasons I get the parang, oh, how do I start shooting? Yeah. You have to first start shooting talaga. Just you have to do it. Like, you know, starting out, going to a gig, paying and all that. Like really just be comfortable alone. That's mm. one of the biggest pieces okay. of advice. Be comfortable in your own space. Be comfortable na you're enjoying your time, your company by yourself while doing something. That's Ano, kasi it gets awkward kasi yeah. diba, starting out talaga sa gig wala kang kausap <laughs> wala kang kilala so literally who are these people what am yeah, I doing sure. here <laughs> you know I find that really interesting when when you said that you go to gigs alone that kind of like that's kind of odd to me personally because I'm I'm the type of person that I hate being alone I don't like going out by myself I mean like I, sorry okay sorry I'll rephrase that I like going out by myself, right? But I don't like going to, like, events by myself. I find it really weird. Mm. And I find it odd for me. It's just something that I haven't tried. I wish I kind of have, like, now. I wish I tried it. But it's just not as natural to me to go to events alone. How did that uh, process go for you? From To you being comfortable with that? Um, It was really... I think... Yung... What I did, I remember, is like staying after the gig. Mm. I think that's when it started to, you know, because of course during the gig, wala ka talaga masyado makakausap. Yeah. And maraming, you know, tumatalon-talon mga tao, just seeing people. And of course, you want to watch the performances and all that. And yeah. then, I forgot what gig it was. Um, I just randomly stayed after the, it was a launch. Um, and then it was a truth. And I just stayed, like, I literally, I didn't want to go home yet. And then, like, I was talking to sila Kuya Ryan, sila Kuya Mad sa root. Yeah. Parang, ay Kuya, ganyan, ganyan. Tapos bigla lang akong, I just sat in one table. I ordered top silog. And I was eating by myself. Uh-huh, like, okay, yeah. this is my, my reward after a <laughs> night of shooting. And then next thing I know, randomly, like, some of the musicians, like, started sitting beside me. And I was right, like, right. oh, hi, I'm Jeremy. Like, so, ganun lang. Parang being... It's 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 a process then eh? like being comfortable alone talaga cuz eventually like of course in after that like when you go to a gig may makikita ka ng kilala iba na yun yeah. eh yung parang yeah, yeah, yeah. uy kahit pumunta ka mag-isa at least yeah, may yeah, makikita yeah, for sure, ka but for sure. being alone na just comfortable alone talaga as as my own person in a gig it was it was a gradual process too it was just yeah. Breaking that social awkwardness that if you want to make, you know, at the same time, if you want to make connections, if you want to make, you know, if you want to work with artists, they won't know if you don't talk to them. Mm. So that's also like, hey, I'm also a photographer, and I yeah. want to, you know, do you, have, you, you ask, talagang pakapalan na rin ng muka. <laughs> I can say, pakapalan yeah, yeah. na rin din ng muka. But that helps because when you talk to different artists, because you're right. I wouldn't know who you are if you didn't talk to me. You know what I mean? Like, it's just the reality yeah, yeah, yeah. of the situation where 
a lot of times, even for me, I don't often want to like engage with someone I don't know all the time, right? But it's part of the mm-hmm. job if you really want to do it. And yeah, it's, it's fun. part of the job. And utilize that free drink. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I could say. Utilize that free drink at the at the gig. When you go in, just to like gig. loosen up. You get that stamp, get that free drink, go, go for it. Yeah, yeah, go. <laughs> okay, go for it. Oh, you got stuck, and you know. Do you have a memory of like a, a favorite memory or an interesting story of you meeting someone for the first time that I might know? Ang hirap pa eh, kasi parang ang dami natin mutuals. <laughs> so parang <laughs> ang hirap ma-pinpoint. Ah, uh, it's. I think with Silla, actually with Silla Nation, okay. it was really an interesting nung interaction. Because initially, like how we started like getting to know each other and we were, when you invited me and um, Silla Paul Bray and Iggy to shoot for their oh, anniversary yeah. Yeah, yeah. in 19 East, that's right. kami parang, okay, as in, literally, ang aga namin dun sa 19 East, we, like, we literally <laughs> opened the bar. No, no, I remember that. I, no, okay, so, like, I remember, like, going going inside 19 East. Because, like, we were with the crew, and then, we, and we knew we were late, you know what I mean? So, we were kind of just like, oh, like, we have to, like, yeah. set up, we have to do it. Um, And then we, we were contacting the people inside, they said that they weren't there yet, so we were like, oh, no. And then when we get there, you guys were just sitting down, and I was like, oh, my God, like, you're so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Nagbanding lang kami. Yun siguro. That was that was one fun ano memory. Like meeting you guys and actually like interacting and si sino pangalan ng host ng show nung nung anim show. Sobrang kulit si Harold ba yun? Harold, Harold was, the, was the yeah, host. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was so funny. <laughs> Just like talking to him on and off stage. Na ano mo stress na stress siya. Pero pag sampan yun ng stage. Okay, guys, next artist na po yun yung yeah, yeah, yeah. so. Yeah, that's I think that's one of my favorite memories. Like being able to interact and see. Tapos yung teaser pa nung minsan noon. Oh yeah, wink, that's wink, right. Nudge, nudge. <laughs> that's right. And then we didn't end up using that footage at all. <laughs> Did you know that? <laughs> I think cuz like wala at all. I didn't see it. Like I didn't see it <laughs> online. So I think you guys didn't use it. <laughs> No, because like th- that's so earlier when you were talking about music videos, I relate to that so much because this is prior to being with Sony, right? So this was like when we were like super indie days and did everything on our own, mm-hmm. just strapped up. Like, you know what I mean? Like we had our band fund and we had everything. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Like yeah. We, we had a budget, all that stuff, right? So like we were planning the music video. So we shot it. We shot it all. And then after that, we were kind of just like, it doesn't really capture everything right away and like a lot of it mm-hmm. was like our constraints right it was like the budget and all that stuff right yeah yeah then, yeah 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 uh so we we shot it and then i think after like we signed with sony uh they were like guess want to do it again and then like here, here's how much like we're gonna give you and we're like okay sure <laughs> <laughs> hindi ko alam kung manghihinayang kayo kasi parang nagawa ko na yung music video but look at that budget, though. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't get me wrong. Like, the crew did what they could. Like, the directors did, like, did yeah, what yeah, they yeah, could. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gets the man. But, like, gets the man. when you, we saw that. And this is, like, a few months after. Like, a month after, I believe. Or two months after. And then we were like, uh, yep. I, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I like that version better. Yeah, let's do that instead. <laughs> like, 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 that, that money, that's great. Like, let, let, let's go for that one. <laughs> when it comes to you, uh, do you often find yourself struggling with... Working on a budget? Uh yeah. It it's one of the biggest constraints. Um in terms of shooting, I guess uh for the production side, like yeah. my my production house. So we we started in college and it was just a random hey guys, you wanna shoot a debut with an SDE? And it was oh, our first game. I see, I see, I see. And we were like, okay, sige, kahit wala pa tayong alam sa SDE, sige, rock lang. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And then after that, <laughs> Uh, we were like, okay, um, we can shoot events, but let's not do SDEs. Oh and then, you know, yeah, the Sun Manager, um, si, si April, the Sun Manager, mm. she opened up opportunities for us in shooting music video. Because initially, she asked me um, if you wanna, if I wanna take photos of her album in Lay, her second album or first album rather worth. So I said, yeah, like let's see where this goes. Uh, she gave me a budget, and then 
you know, the typical Tagutaman Transpology because yeah, yeah. we shot it in Zambales. Yeah, yeah. And then after, I think, uh, the the night of the shoot, like after, we were just, you know, chilling and enjoying the beach. And we, I, she asked me, like, may kilala ka ba na pwede mag-shoot ng music video? And I was like, Oh, I have a, I have a team. Yeah, like, yeah. It's it's gonna be our first gig, and it's just like okay. So after that, um, when we started working with other artists too for music videos, it really varies. So my mm. times na very limited yung budget. So sabi right. talaga sa amin na this is the the amount of money that we have, and on our end, of course, we have to manage it. Of course, yeah, yeah. Um, getting paid the team getting paid properly yeah. uh the rental so it varies and it it also depends on the client i guess because sure. we've had clients that have uh, we had one music video it was with the ringmaster he literally gave us ito budget ito yung gusto kong gawin nyo kayo na bahala yeah, so yeah. the concept was all on us. Like oh, we had okay. a lot of brainstorm meetings, and then we also had a client. The most, the one last year, parang we already have the concept, we already have the location. We just need someone to execute and mm. push our vision. So yeah. it really varies. So yeah, adjustments talaga na how are we as a team um, being able to have that creative integrity when we shoot. Yeah. But also being able to cater to what the client wants. Yeah. Yun yung um, balance that we try to find For when sure. working on a limited budget. I, it was it's funny because like I remember so sometimes you have gigs where it's really independent, it's really you know, and then you have the other side where it's like, oh like I can do a lot with this, right? It's funny because I want to ask you about the events, like the way that they treat you guys in event, uh, as a photographer. Cause for me, um as a road manager and as a manager, I've been through everything as well. Like, you know, I've been through like the wait in the wait in the parking lot. And then I've also been in the here's your waiting room. And then I'm just like, all right. Yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember just a short story. I remember when we were opening for uh James Arthur in Ayala Mall. That they they gave us so like they were like, okay, what do you guys want in your waiting room, right? So the guys were kind of just like, let's throw at them everything we want and then we'll just see what they give us, right? Yeah, yeah. When we got to the room, literally everything was there. Burgers, <laughs> chips, shakes, fr- everything was there. We had couches, aircon. Like when I remember sitting down and we we're just like, did we make it? Did we make it? <laughs> <laughs> and then when uh, and then like a, a few days after that, we had another gig. And like it was a smaller gig. So we we're kind of just like, I missed the Yala Mall waiting room. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you just want well, no, a flashback to like uh, I miss those couches <laughs> yeah and, and cause like this was like in the middle of the day in like a random mall in like Ortigas mm. and then it was so hot we were opening for um, a show that and the, the people didn't even know like the band so we were kind of just like we miss Ayala Malls but so do you yeah. have that kind of experience where uh, you re- like some events really treat you guys really well and some others they just kind of leave you let you be Ah yeah, of course. Um may paano ba? May mga concerts or events na ako na shoot na hindi naman sa okay yung or parang paano ba? Um may yun din experience ko rin yung hindi naman sa everything's there but even yeah, just yeah. having a aircon waiting room, okay ka na dun eh. Yeah. As a photographer, okay na okay, kami okay. there. Aircon, may tubig, tapos right, may right. pagkain, okay na kami dun. And then may I've had experiences too that Literally, I didn't even get paid at ah, the end. Like, yung, 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 as, as sad as it may sound, yung TF mo naging TY. Yun yung nangyayari. <laughs> <laughs> so, wala kang masabi. Kasi parang, yeah. tapos na yung event. And it's, I don't know how to phrase it. It's sort of like, wala rin kasing, there's like an unspoken rule sometimes in, in, in events per se, in event yeah, yeah. production na parang, We'll let you in for free, let you shoot, but that's about it. Aha, uh-huh, yeah. So may may ganun moments talaga na okay, I know what I want to shoot cuz I get free entrance, but at the same time, sayang naman like I wish the the producers would invest in let's say uh, documentation. Kahit yung yeah, yeah. kahit sagutin mo lang transpo namin, yung ganun. Right, right, okay right. na kami dun eh kasi it's already a privilege. It's one of the things that I recognize na privilege to shoot a free show. 
Mm-hmm. Like it's it's a privilege enough na you're allowed to watch the concert for free and it's an extra heaping na you're able to shoot it. Yeah, yeah. That's one of the biggest things that you have to recognize. Na privileged talaga siya. So when do you draw the line of okay, I need to be paid for this one? Uh when of course when it's asked you know when the when the organizers are asking for more uh-huh. or may mga written like may mga specifics na sila talagang gusto of course yeah, that's yeah. when you have to draw the line and you know draft up a contract right. uh, coordinate and the deliverables mo um with Carly Rae ganun like, uh, when i was talking to the representative they started asking me for um like okay ito yung mga kailangan namin na photos yeah so ako, of course i would be okay um if we're gonna have these deliverables i would want to have a uh, tf for it but um nagka problem so parang ah, hindi na bayaran tf pero i just instead of like let's say this much del- deliverables binawasan na lang okay. so may ano rin may compromise ka talagang hahanapin yeah. na the amount of money they're paying you should also be enough to let's say compensate the amount of work you'll be doing for them for sure. so there's always kung wala naman compensation uh, financially uh, kahit you know they just give you money for food money yeah. for transfer you're already set for that yeah i remember when you cuz it's just the struggle of like the indie tf gig life right so i remember yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. i was i was joking around with nathan a f- like a few months ago cuz like so our friends got married in Tagaytay, like a really, really small garden wedding. And then Nathan brought his own speaker. Because they asked Nathan to sing. Because we're friends. And so Nathan brought his own speaker. He brought his own guitar. He brought his own microphone. He brought everything, right? So of course, like I was helping him set up. So we were just joking around. I was like, bro, I haven't done this in like over a year. He was like, oh my, oh my. And then in the end of the gig, because like, okay, they're friends. We're not being paid, right? In the end of the gig, I was joking around with Nate. I went, I went up to Nate and I was just like, Nate, uh, the organizer said that they alone na lang deposit the uh the TF they'll deposit the what do you call it the gate share <laughs> and then uh, they, and then <laughs> and then Nathan was like hassle ka bro i don't miss that <laughs> <laughs> oh my god the gate share yeah it's i think looking at the industry before as in literally before pandemic yeah it was going up eh as in umaabot na siya sa point na may gigs that are that people are willing to pay for and right. people are willing to i know so yeah. you know sometimes it's it's great that you're able to meet the the tf like you're able to pay that their bar rate and yeah, then yeah, yeah, they yeah. share yeah 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 yun yung ano before my god yung tipong dalawa tatlong tao lang kayo sa route tapos kausap mo lang din yung artist na parang oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. those photos mga ganun yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so it's very different for sure it's very different so imagine like we're in a world where covid doesn't exist right we're in a world where it, the the music scene is thriving everything's working out really well um how would you project the future to be in terms of music cuz like even like with our current state not current state sorry even like with our pre covid state you had like carpos doing stuff you know what i mean like and you could pay yeah 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 you yeah, had to yeah. pay for that stuff right and then um so there's local artists there's international artists it's like it felt like things were kind of changing did you kind of feel that as well yeah um it was if things were you know if covid didn't exist uh it would really be pushing the industry forward talaga yeah. and not just seeing a lot of like you know like Nathan and Mer- kayo diba you started out talaga na you know gig circuit talaga yeah. grind and yeah, then yeah. Uh, getting asked to do shows and getting invited to do corporate gigs and all yeah. that so same lang then with photography na on my end what i've seen uh, in the past in the past shows and everything uh ano show to i think it was raccoon yeah one of my favorite gigs raccoon turns free at okay yeah yeah uh it was it was nice cuz i was seeing like sempre i was shooting in the pit pero in front there were like more than 10 people like on different areas of the stage yeah, yeah. with the camera and shooting and yeah, i was right. like Wow, it's so it's so nice because I started from there. I was right. I started being in the crowd, having my camera, and then seeing more people, seeing more the younger generation, yeah. um, getting enticed to shoot because of this and getting inspired to do that. So 
honestly, um, music photography was gonna was gonna grow in its own way. It's just yeah. a matter of steering it in the right direction. Of course, getting paid right. Yeah. Um, all those little things that come along. So yeah, it sana yun naman din sana yung mangyari after this. <laughs> yeah, I'm really excited to know what happens after when you know we can have events again. Even like some places in the yeah. world. I can see like they're already starting to have smaller events or like even some big events in some countries like New Zealand and I'm just like I miss that so Nakakainggit. much. I I miss I miss getting deaf after a set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. <laughs> you're right. You're right. You're right. I miss like I miss going home and being like can we not play music right now? My ears hurt. <laughs> like I miss those those small moments of like and in the moment there's nothing else that matters. You're just listening to the music having a good time. Those are things that I really Yeah, like. and it, it, yung energy of that like a hundred people yeah. watching the same thing, yeah. driving along, enjoying. And and the shay, ang, what I love about it is for example, in a small gig, there's always like there's the group of people, for example, uh, like Nate fans playing, for example. All right, yeah. Yung may group of people na sobrang fans ng Nate fans. So sila yung makulit yeah, yeah, on yeah, one yeah, side. Yeah, yeah. And then and then may group of people na friends ng band yeah, na makulit on the <laughs> other side. And then there's just like the general yeah, crowd yeah, yeah, yeah. of just jamming along. So yun, those those little seeing ah, I miss that those so the different much. circles yeah. coming into like one shared space. Right. It's it's uh it's amazing. It's an amazing experience. Uh, you made me miss it so much after you described it like that. Because <laughs> there are like those kinds of groups and I didn't realize it until you mentioned it. Diba? Yeah. Like, um, paano ba? Sa speeds. Yes, yeah, speeds. Oh, for like sure. Then, for sure. Diba? For, <laughs> for speeds. Sure. There's always that yung, yung, yung fans talaga yeah. stands and everything. Yeah. And then yung mga tao na, uy, for speeds. And then yung mga kaibigan ng banda na nangungulit lang. Yeah. yeah. I think, uh, the, <laughs> Remember the, the the secret show, the somewhat secret show that oh, we yeah, had? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, That's right. uh, all of, like, four of you guys played One Click Spades, Nathan, yeah, and yeah, yeah. St. Wolf played Saint in Wolf. that show. So, ang kulit kasi, you, you all are mutuals. Right, right. And it's so funny because, like, rotation siya <laughs> ng nakipiturang ko noon. Sa, ano, okay, tatlong banda muna yung nasa labas kasi yung isa nasa loob tumutugtog. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tapos yeah. mag-rotate yung fans din. So, that, I don't know it. Eh, that energy, that that aura of everyone there is is it, it, I miss. I do miss that. Talaga. I miss that so much. Like, um, and then there will be days, uh, especially in the start, where like half half of the bar is like the rest of the bands, <laughs> you know. And then sila pa yung yeah yeah. Oh man, the, <laughs> like, those are memories that. I really, really miss. Sila yung, ano, sila yung hype man ng banda mo. Yeah, oh, exactly. Kahit kayo-kayo na lang yun, nandun sa bar. Exactly. Yeah. And then, like, it impacts how, like, the people who are fans, like, see the show. Because, like, they're having a good time as well. Because, like, oh, like, they're having a good time. I should have a good time as well. What's your prediction for photography in the next five years? Music photography. So, dun muna siya siguro start uh, early on. Uh, going back to intimate acoustic gigs. And then eventually being able to have that shared space again of like yeah. more than 100 people 200 people but also um in retrospect hopefully it's a clean start for everyone not just me but also like a lot of creatives yeah. Yeah. working in and around the industry being able to one of the advocacies i really want to push for is like having standard rates yeah her. especially for photographers not not even just you know Food and transpo. Parang food and transpo is already given. Yeah. And then you have like even just a standard rate of 500 or 1k in a in a yeah. bar gig. Yeah, yeah. Kaya ganon man lang. Yun yun yung looking forward. And of course, having to have those big music. Fe- yun naman yung dule. Eh. Parang small gigs and yeah, then yeah. a little big events and then big lang music festival na right. marami ng tao. So, si yun sana babalik naman siya. It's just it's just a matter of time. We'll see when. I'm Especially excited. in our country. <laughs> oh my gosh, don't get me started on that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, we're just going to take a quick break and then we're going to go into the speed round. So for the speed round, I'm going to ask you a bunch of questions. Answer as quickly as you can, as honestly as you can. And if you have a story attached to your answer, just go for it. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so for the first question of the speed round, among everyone that you've watched before, it can be any kind of concert, any kind of show. If you could watch anyone again who would it be 
Kailangan ba isa lang? Ang hirap eh. Yeah, give me like your top three. <laughs> Ang hirap. Top three. Again, um, Carly Rae. Okay. Again, yeah. Carly Rae for sure. Yeah. Tom Mish. Ooh, that was a good show. Tom Mish. And I guess the 1975. I, w- I was again. I was there for the Thomas and the 1975. Those are so fun. <laughs> it was it was amazing. Like the visuals. That's that's what I want to see in moving forward. Not just I mean, de ba going back naman tayo sa limited budget lang naman ang galawan natin. Pero <laughs> not just international artists elevating their shows to that level, but yeah. also local artists yeah. having that space to to create. Like, hindi lang siya music, ex- hindi lang siya audio experience. It also has to be a visual, visual experience for everyone. Yeah, that's a great point. I, I'm so excited for that day. Because, like, for example, the 1975, their show is 50% music, 50%, 50% visual. Even though you're there for the music, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, you say that. But once you're there, you realize that the show is And you very start, visual. How, yeah. It's so, it's so good. Good. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> it's, so, it's such an experience. I hope that I get to watch them again. All right. Among any artists that you haven't watched yet, who would you like to watch? Ooh. Uh, my goodness. Uh, not yet. Yeah. Actually, um, international. Okay. For, for K-pop, Yes, I want to watch K-pop okay. artists yeah. eventually, like twice BTS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All, so, isang pagsasama ko na lang na K-pop. <laughs> okay, that's one. Any any K-pop concert. Um, but for the usual like performing or yung mga nagtutor, I want to watch uh, Jacob Collier. Oh, okay, that's great. Uh, yeah, Jacob Collier's show is very different from what I've I've seen on live yeah. videos. And then, sino pa ba? I guess yung mga up it. Quote and quote, up and coming lang din na fina-follow ko. Like sila, Umi, uh, okay. Hope Tala, independent artists yeah, online. Yeah. And, uh, sino pa yung isa? Uh, Caroline Polacek. I wanna okay. watch her live too. All right, all right. What did you graduate from? Industrial Management Engineering. Minor in IT. Sheesh. So it's really, so, it's so different, <laughs> man. As in... Every time when people ask me, oh, you graduated from La Salle. Yeah, what's your course? Engineering. Why are you taking <laughs> photos? I don't yeah, know. Like, the just, typical, I just ended the up The typical here. thing is like com arts. You know what I mean? Like you have like these, these courses that typically would go to that route. But like when you say, y- even your, your specific engineering course, I'm just like, what's that? <laughs> a lot of business and a lot of math and a lot of statistics. You didn't, did, I guess, I used ko naman siya. How? <laughs> Um, nung nung nabuo na yung prod, ah, okay. ako yung, so my, nung nabuo na yung prod, yung, yung teammates ko are all film, film, com arts graduates. Yeah. So, ako yung may background sa budgeting okay, and how yeah, to yeah. manage the budget. So, ako yung, yan, I was the back end of managing the budget, right. tracking the budget, reimbursements, accounting, yeah. our favorite part after a gig. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, joke <laughs> <laughs> um, tama tama yung bilang di ba? One, two, three. To say one, two. tama tama one, two. Um, all right. Who's your biggest photography inspiration? Oh, I have okay. two ever since. Um, first is Karen de la Fuente. From uh, you can check her out at Rocket on Instagram. Okay. Such an amazing photographer. Such a great friend. And see Ia Forbes uh, at Egg Cheeks okay. on Instagram. Cause for Karen, she yung unang I just specifically remember just scrolling through my nung luma pa yung interface pa na ng oh, Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I would see her photos a lot, and I was really drawn into how she colored her shots. Mm. Like how 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 does she translate it visually? Na nagsisync pa rin dun sa artist. Yun yung gusto kong gusto ko kay Karen. How she colors her shots and how she composes everything. Yeah. Very intimate, very... And then with Ia naman, she's a photojournalist din kasi. So her background, like, not just in music photography, but as a photojournalist, being able to tell uh, a story mm. through photos. So those two things are one of... Uh, those two things are really the things that I really want to achieve then. Like, how do I 
translate my shots visually, artistically, uh, color, coloring, composition, right. but also being able to tell a narrative story or a story behind those photos. What would you like for your career to be in five years? Oh, wow. In five years, I will be. Insert age number here. <laughs> <laughs> um, bigla. Five years from I guess, you know, when, when things really go back to normal, hopefully, yeah. uh, I'd still want to shoot shows. Um, in my, like, personally, as by myself, being able to shoot shows. But also, I guess, idealistically speaking, parang bring in my team to to document an event okay. for that matter because we've done it with different small music festivals right. like uh, raccoon we've worked with raccoon a uh, couple of events already so we already know eh, na you know we have this ba, parang unspoken na siya rin, na, okay i know how you guys are going to produce the event and we're happy with that because we get taken care of and we get to deliver the output right. that you guys yeah. want and uh, creatively so looking forward parang gusto rin namin makapag-document ng ng concert na outside of the typical photos lang outside of the typical clips lang right. like really have a not an SDE but more like a li- parang documentary highlight Ryan-ish. like a highlight okay. uh, like a small point of okay, entry okay, of yeah, being yeah. able yeah. to shoot concerts in a in a different right. light oh that's going to be fun i'm really excited for that all right last question where can people find you Oh, uh, people can find me on Facebook and Instagram for at Jeremy Giggs at Ibapa ATBP on both my Instagram and Facebook. And if you want to watch me stream stupidly <laughs> on games, <laughs> you, can, you can find me on Twitch. Uh, that's Jeps Place, J-E-P-S Place, uh, both on Facebook and on Twitch. All right, Jeremy, thank you so much for coming on. I'm really, really, I really, really. Thank ap- you for having me. I really me. appreciate you and your time and just your words of wisdom when it comes to photography and being paid. <laughs> Eventually, <laughs> getting paid. <laughs> they will deposit it now. <laughs> no, uh, they will deposit it now next week. <laughs> All right, Jeremy, thank you so much. Yeah, there's may, may 30 days clearing oh my God. check. <laughs> All, right. All right, Jeremy, thank you so much. I hope that you come back on in the future. Hey. We'll see what happens with your career, and I'm really excited for you. Yeah, can't wait. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thanks for listening. To check out more episodes, go check us out on Spotify or Apple Podcasts. And for clips and full episodes, you can check out our videos on YouTube. Just search for Sand Studios. S-A-N-D Studios. Again, for any equipment needs you have, go check out Wavecast PH. There are a few stuff on there, but there's going to be a lot more coming in in the future. Again, thank you so much for listening. I'll see you next time.